emails and not wearing any blue. Like, how much of a story for you is for you in terms of the score and being able to get the blue in the summer? Oh yeah, this is definitely something I've envisioned since I was a kid. So uh, it's just been great. It feels like a Disney movie, and uh, it's been wonderful. Uh, this is something we prepared for. We knew it was going to be a hard fought game, and we came out and we executed. Right. Have you ever considered petitioning the uh, coaches to put you in like a fullback or something? Did you score some eight touchdowns? No, I, I actually <laughs> have. I've had some conversations with Coach Brown about maybe going on things or something, but uh, hopefully, well, I mean, we never know what might happen. So. How do you account for? I mean, three. Scores in one season by defense. Oh yeah, that's definitely not something that you prepare for. You know, obviously, you, as deep as long, we're, we're trying to get sacked. So it's definitely something that, that's caught me on guard this year. But I'm just glad I helped my team win. And it's a great feeling. Ash, what what does it mean to finally win this game and get that cup after so long? Uh, it's it's just a it's a surreal moment. It's, it's a great. I think it's a great team win. I think we needed it as a senior group. Everyone who's been here. Uh, just to be able to basically get the last laugh on the way out. So that's just something I think we all were, were anticipating, we we're preparing ourselves for, and came to fruition today. Gary? After last year, how, how much, how would you describe the defensive focus to, to really not let up and really keep the, the heat on them? Um, you know, how did you see that play out today besides the turnovers? Yeah, obviously, I think we did a good job pressuring the quarterback. Was, they have a good run game, so that they're going to run the game at any stage of the, any part of the game. They're going to keep running. So I think we did a good job of just stopping their run, forcing them to take the shots. And I think our DBs capitalized on the moments, and I think we capitalized in terms of sacks and strips and stuff. Yeah, they played a freshman quarterback. He had two interceptions. They had a couple of fumbles. Do you think you were able to rattle him a little bit and get him off his game? Oh, yeah. We knew we're, uh, going to this game, we're going to have opportunities to create turnovers. So. Uh, coaches emphasize all week. Uh, we got to have great, great lanes, great pass rush, and when, we, when those opportunities come, we have to uh, uh, capitalize on them. So. Could you tell at all that he was getting nervous? Uh, I mean, a little bit, just trying to force the ball out. And if we're getting too close, and obviously, two of them led to interceptions. So um, that's the thing with young quarterbacks. I mean, he's talented, but you just, if you can keep pressure on him, make him make. Young guy mistakes. I think that's what we did today. I think that's what shows in the score column. Tim, both of you, as dominant as you were the last two weeks, how does that influence the way you look at the season as a whole? And there's been some inconsistency. Uh, we always emphasize finishing, uh, whether it's a game, uh, season, all of it. So we just wanted to emphasize finishing this, this season off strong and having two dominant wins like this really put a cap on for a season like this. Yeah, same thing he said. It's just about finishing. And I think us, people are going to remember how you finish. It's not how you start. It's not the middle point. It's how you finish. So I think we did a good job finishing and preparing these last weeks and just keeping it moving. Rivalries always get a, a little chippy and it looked like there was some talking going on out there. Was there an emphasis pregame to like, hey, guys, let's make sure we, we stay within ourselves. Don't let that become a part of the game. Uh, yeah, we knew they didn't have, this is the last game of the season. They're not going to a bowl game, so they're going to throw everything they can at us. So we have to keep our, our cool and uh, not let them bait us in anything stupid. Last two games, obviously, you guys. the biggest difference the way you did? Just everybody being on the same page, everybody communicating, uh, executing. That's really what it's been all year, and things are finally clicking, so. It's, it's coming into fruition of what we prepare for. Yeah, same thing. It's, it's hard to follow him. He's just got the answers. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, obviously, just I think it's, that's just what it is. We, we have all, all the pieces. We have all the talent. It's just about clicking and coming together. And I think it's we've had some rough games. Sometimes where communication is, is the issue or getting lined up. But I think the past two games are a display of what we are as a defense and who we can be. So. Okay, so you uh, said this was like a Disney movie. Anyone in particular? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know. At this point, I might as well create my own, right? <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.